What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're over here, just got to the shop. BK Performance, we got my hot rod out here. We are no prep racing this weekend at Thunder Valley Dragway. Uh, they're doing Friday night testing tune for no prep. And Saturday is off the trailer. First round to be like 2.30, 3 o'clock. <laughs> But so we're gonna be drag racing this weekend. If y'all are close to Thunder Valley, y'all need to get out there. Hopefully we'll have a good car count. He had verbal confirmations of about 20 cars. So hopefully we'll have 32 cars. We got 32 cars there, so $10,000 purse. So y'all come check us out. So what we're working on today, my car is in here. Uh, we hadn't messed with it since our last race when we were down at Coastal Plains. We just pushed it in here. And we noticed when we were at Coastal Plains, the front left wheel, was a little sloppy. Um, when the front wheel was coming down, it was moving a little bit. And I've seen it a couple times in some of the other videos, and I really didn't think much about it, but that's also when the, when the car was getting upset a lot. So um, I got up under there, Milton grabbed the steering wheel, and he grabbed the steering wheel and was moving it. And it is for sure, look at this. You can kind of hear it. I always thought that was in the steering wheel itself, but that is actually down here that wheel, that joint is, is loose. So, and what's happened is this thing over here, the ball has simply got loose in the, in the, the, uh, the main part there. So that's what we're gonna replace. We're gonna replace this. I got me a new uh, parachute launcher bag. So we're gonna put that on. I also bought a new blanket for the turbo. So we're looking around. Brian's over here working on his stuff. Happy is over there working on his. Yeah, the rag joint is moving yeah. like crazy. Yeah. So that is moving. Um, look at the condensation on this thing from where it's been sitting in the trailer. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. The hot and the cold. I keep my vent cracked. I ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> Move it again over here on this side. I'm just going to where it's real light. You want me to yeah, again? move it harder. Yeah, that one's moving too. So the rag joint and those, this thing's gonna drive like a Cadillac. Brian, where can I get a rag joint? Can I get that in the help section? <laughs> Brian might have one. He's got stuff everywhere. If not, we're going to head to Advanced Auto Parts or something. I think they got them there. So that's in addition to what I was planning on doing. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so look at the difference in this. I don't know if y'all remember when I did the video with the, with the high travel for the front end, the extenders, one of the things I needed was a high travel, I think they call it a, a high travel misalignment. And that's what this is. And that's what, um, it's five eighths, five eighths reverse thread, same as this one, but look at the difference. So this is the, on the rod end. And you can see this thing, it, it definitely, it's hard to tell in the video, but it is loose and it definitely is moving but it's not all the movement I was feeling. Definitely the rag joint down there is bad. Ryan's got a couple of these. So we're gonna try to find the shaft and put on it. If not, I'll put a new rag joint on it for right now. <clears throat> but this thing right here is crazy. So the difference in the, the amount that this one can go versus that one before it bottoms out, you can see the, the ball is just thicker and bigger. Oh, sorry. The ball is just thicker and bigger and the angle is a lot more and you can see the angle is tremendous All right, so we're gonna put the new turbo blanket on. Ooh, it's nice and shiny, but it is a lot bigger too. This one was supposed to be for a T6, but it barely fit on the turbo. Look at the difference in size. That thing is huge. And this one is a little heavier, so that should help keep the front end down. All right, guys, well, we are done working on it tonight. It's a little later than I anticipated. Anthony over here, Brian, we had a whole bunch of other people earlier in today, but now it's very late. 
So, <laughs> I still got to paint a car. And Brian's still painting cars yeah. today. But we got um, this new turbo blanket on. This thing is a monster. It is huge. So it is, uh, it actually fits really well though. That was like $42 on Amazon. Uh, so that is, so I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, it looks very big. So we did that, tie rod ends on. So those are on, we got the, the bump steer stuff set. Uh, we think it, it's towed in a little bit while sitting here at uh, normal ride height, but going down track, it is uh, dead on. It's towed in about a, about a quarter inch, eighth of an inch. So it's not too bad at all. We also uh, tightened up. This rag joint was completely busted up down there. Yeah, so it, it still has a rag, joint on. a rag joint and a power steering rack. Wait, wait, where's that, where is that rag <laughs> joint? Ah. It was pretty floppy. So, um, but we got that changed out. So the steering is feeling much better. So this ought to be a lot better feeling. So that, yeah, yeah that was a little yeah. war out there. It was really, really, really sloppy. And the steering wheel, this thing still has a little bit of slop up here, but it is in the wheel where the wheel mounts to the actual hub. It's the old school. The quick connect. Yeah, the little quick connect. Which this thing I got used from Brian like 20 years ago. Did it? <laughs> the steering wheel and the thing. So I've had, I've had this thing for a hot minute. So it's just, it's got a little bit of a loose motion in it. We use everything and reuse everything to the point where it just it just it just falls apart that's my, my car is the landing bed for all the used parts this is where all the used parts go that uh they go home to die go fast occasionally but, <laughs> but so we are ready um we got about a quart of water out of the oil so i drained that so i'm gonna, I'm gonna crank it up and push it in the trailer um no we'll probably just push it in the trailer since brian's got his golf cart hooked up to it uh, the parachute I did not get to do. It's still, I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. We spent a lot of time setting the uh, toe in, toe out the the front caster camber stuff. So I'm tired. It feels like I've been working out, but hopefully we're gonna be fine. So no prep racing. Friday night we're gonna be testing at Thunder Valley Dragway. Saturday is race day. Off the trailer. We should be going first round about two thirty to three o'clock. So if y'all are close, make sure y'all come out and see us. Should be a good time. Hopefully, we'll have 20 or 30 cars. If we get 32 cars, we got a $10,000 purse. So, that's going to be awesome. All right, guys. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later.